All right, what's going on guys? Today, uh, we're gonna be adding on to our last video. If you remember, this is the app we made, just simply a, uh, a red colored theme and then a button click me that when you click it, it'll uh, display hell everyone. Uh, and you get to have it say anything you want. So what we're gonna do this time is making a timer where when we click this button, when we can say start, it'll start counting zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth until we say stop. Um, so let's jump into it. So here's the code we had last time. And what we're gonna do is uh, first we can make the timer and then we could go into the specifics after that. So right here above the dot set text, we'll make a new line and we wanna make a new countdown timer. Uh, mine should up first, hit enter. And then in there, so we need two numbers. The first one is gonna be how long we want it to run and it's gonna be in milliseconds. So if you do 10,000, that'll be 10 seconds. 1,000, that's one second. So I'll do uh, 10 seconds and then a comma and then Here's the interval. So if we do a tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds, that's what that'll do. All right. And now in here, we need uh, two methods. Both of them are public and void. Uh, and the first one's called on tick. And now, so this is based off of an interface, so it has to be on tick, and uh, the other one's going to be on finish. And in here, we want long. Uh, we can type whatever we want in here. I'm going to do milliseconds until finished. All right. And uh, we can use this variable uh, if we want. Um, uh, we actually won't be using it here, uh, but it does require it. And then the other method is called public void on finish. Some more parentheses. And we don't need any parameters here. So on the on tick, what we'll do is we'll display the number uh, of our counter, which we actually haven't made yet. So we can cut, uh, copy this label here. I'll cut it, Control X or Command X for Mac, and then paste it here. Now we'll change it. Right now we'll just say hello everyone and basically do the exact same things before. Uh, so we'll delete that. We want it to do a number. Uh, so we'll go up here. I'm going to make a public number because since we are in a different method, uh, we we won't be able to just make a variable here. So we'll go all the way back up here and make a public integer called counter, and I'll set it equal to zero. Um, so that's it. And now here, uh, we shouldn't be able to just put counter here. It may work, uh, but it, my best guess is that's going to come up with an error because this is an integer and this is looking for a string. So what we can add is string dot value of, and now you have to delete that parenthesis and put it back here. All right, so now that'll work. Uh, the last issue is that we have a small error down here. That's because we never actually finished the line. Because um, if you recognize this new, whenever we make a new variable or something, uh, we actually need a semicolon at the end, uh, so the line's not done. Uh, but there's one last thing we actually want to do. Uh, because we never made a variable here, we could make a, uh, a countdown timer variable. Uh, but it's easier just at the end of here, do dot start, and uh, make sure the semicolon's after that. Now we don't have any errors. You may have an error if your computer didn't ex automatically put in the, uh, the import, which would look like this. So type import android.os, that countdown timer, and a semicolon if you don't have it. And that should get rid of the rest of the issues. Um, and then the only other thing we want to do maybe is change our button to say start, uh, perhaps. So to do that, um, mine's actually closed. You may still have it open. Just go to resources, layout, and then double click activity main. And uh, that'll get it open. So what we want to do is change a click me right here to say start. Now this is the XML, we didn't go over that, uh, but if you're in the other tab, so this is text, you can go into design and to change it, all you do is double click start, or it would have said click me and then change it to start right here. Okay, and that is it. I'll save that and then go and run it. Okay, so if you hit start, um, it's going to say zero because we never actually changed the time. So if you go back to the code, all we got to do is change counter. So say counter plus plus. And that's going to add one, one to it. If you want to add two, you could do plus equals two, something like that. Um, I'll stick it with plus one. And now you run it from here. And okay, here we go. So when you hit start, it'll start counting up. Um, it'll look a little laggy on the computer, but uh, once on the phone, it, it should be blazing fast. All right? And it should stop at 10 seconds in. And there we go. So it's all stopped. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to click subscribe and like if you liked it. Uh, ask any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.